What's going on guys today i'll be showing you guys how to achieve this effect using final cut pro 10 without any plugins and before that i would like you guys to know i didn't really know how to title this video so if you have a cool name for it just drop it in the comment down below and i will really appreciate it now let's get back to it and show you guys how to achieve this so first of all you select the video that you're gonna use and drop it in your timeline so now we're gonna use this video and then you select the part that you want it to be i think this side will be okay and then you freeze that part by pressing shift h to freeze that make it long or short any way that you want it to be so now you have something like this then you copy and paste the video on top of it. Let's drag this so that we can just get the part that we freeze. Yeah. And now let's disable the down video. Then you go to your effect and search for draw mask. Then you drop it on the top video. So now we can we have our pencil or pen or whatever it is the tool to draw around the object that we're gonna highlight so we can just draw it and this is just a tutorial so i'm not really gonna waste time on it to get it accurately or perfect or close to perfect and by the way this was a video i made for my youtube channel if you're about fitness and uh, you want to know more about fitness tips you can go visit it and then I have some cool videos over there about fitness and some tips that you can it can help you at the gym as a beginner so now back to it just draw around the object that you have over here Yep, so now we have something like this and then you go under your draw mask and then under feather you work around feather to get it exactly on the object. Now we have something like this. So now you can enable the down video by pressing V. And now we have something like this. So now we we'll work on keyframing uh, the top video that's uh you go to the first frame go under transform click on scale to keyframe that and then go five or ten frames depending on how you want the effect or how long you want it to be so for this tutorial i think i'll use 10 keyframes ahead and then we make another keyframe and then we increase the size of the top video for this tutorial, I'm going to use 125%. So now you have something like this. I'm oh, sorry guys for this sound. So now you have something like this. And then to make this very cool, um, you just go to the down video, go under your search box search for directional and there you go you drop it on the down video and then you can make you can make the down video or the background to be a little bit blurry so that the object that you want it to pop out or highlight it out will show now you have something like this So there you go guys, later on you can just drop uh, some cool sound effects. To me without sound effect it makes the video very boring so 
I got this robot sound effect from on YouTube and just drop it under here. Cut the unnecessary part out. And there you go. So this is how you achieve this effect using Final Cut Pro 10 and if you find this video very helpful don't forget to hit the like and also the subscribe button down there and if possible to share for your friends to also know about this cool effect and um, yeah appreciate you guys for watching and thank you have a nice day peace out